Hi guys, welcome to machine learning class. My name is Saif Hassan, lecturer computer science at Sakhraibi University. In this class, we will be exploring data, algorithms, their intuitions, and along with that, there will be uh, we will be experimenting ML algorithms on real data and we'll be creating meaningful insights. So the agenda for today's lecture is we will be discussing the data and its importance machine learning overview and basic definitions its applications and we will see basic diagram how ml model works from input to predictions let's talk about the data first the world is filled with data a lot of data pictures music text words videos and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon machine learning uses the data to derive the valuable insights so there are a lot of data sources in the world today through which data is generated such as facebook post likes comments twitter tweets youtube amazon and many more let's start with youtube a popular consumer app data billion plus people use each day it's a massive database with petabytes of video description and comments let's examine the consumer experience so first you run a query for funny cats and you get back list of videos and some descriptions from the database let's look at the blue box these are the example queries list of uh, videos number of results and video views let's look at the red box these are the rights to the database video uploads comments you add plus counter for number of likes and dislikes finally look at the green box these are the recommendations on what your videos and ads you may like YouTube is just one of many examples on the web. Each minute, each of these products is a data system powering user activity from videos, music, dating, photos, text, everything. Each minute, it, the data is generated. It's not just the web. Data is now collected from the physical world as well. For example, look at the data processed in self-driving cars. Each object coming in front of the car, autonomous car, detected either on the left side or on the right side. Every object is detected tons of data collected every minute a day process in a data system that is 10 to 20 iphones worth of storage per car per day cameras generating the data 20 to 40 mb per second radar sensor and like these are the different sensors autonomous vehicle generate the data around 4 kgb each day Day waters said machine learning will automate the jobs that most people thought could only be done by the people. Now the day has come today, we can say a new evolution that is taking over the world. We see machine learning all around us in the products we use today. So now let's look at what is machine learning. So let's start with the basic definition of machine learning. Systems that automatically learn programs from data. You just have to provide data and machine learning algorithms will automatically learn and start predicting. Machine learning applications such as things like tagging objects and people inside of photos are clearly machine learning edge player. Like when you upload images on Facebook, it automatically starts tagging people from your friend list. Another application, of course, the biggest example of all is Google search. Every time you use Google search, you are using a system that has many machine learning systems as its score. From understanding the text of your query to adjusting the results based on your personal interest, such as knowing which results to show you first while searching, it will almost give you the relevant links. You most probably will visit the links on the first page. You won't have to go another page. If you see here while searching Sakurai B University, it gives its website first, which I wanted to visit. Google is everything. Google knows many things about people, uh, about our about we people, even if we don't know ourselves. Machine learning's immediate applications are already quite wide ranging, including translation from any language to any other desired language. Uh, like traffic prediction or I uh, suppose you want to detect whether the traffic is sparse, sparse or jam or you want to uh, analyze the traffic 
so these all applications are of machine learning and so many applications like uh, web search we already visited the google search and online fraud detection and medical diagnosis a lot of application related to medical uh, applications medical sites as we use machine learning to make human tasks better faster and easier than before we can also look further into the future when machine learning can help us to do the task that we never could have achieved on our own for our purposes the definition of machine learning down to just five words using data to answer questions while we wouldn't use such a short answer for an exam in particular we can split the definition into two parts using data and answer questions these two parts broadly outline the two sides in machine learning both of them equally important using data is what we refer to as training while answering questions it refer to as making predictions or invariance now let's take a look into those two sides briefly first the data is provided if you uh, see here if first that data is provided to the model and model basically trains that data and designs a model that is called predictive model training refers to using our data to inform the creation of and fine-tuning of a predictive model model is designed here model is trained here and then we basically make a predictions we make a predictions from predictive model this is our predictive model and this predictive model can then be used to serve our predictions on previously unseen data and answer those questions machine learning model basically relies on data mostly if the data is increased then model can be increased or improved thanks for watching if you have any question leave comments below